right, I'm gonna start my day out with a coffee. Maybe some breakfast too. All right, here we have it. We've got the salty caramel brownie and an Americano with milk. Nice. Ooh, nice way to start your morning. Always like to look out on this view when we're in the Wharfside Center here in Penzance. Penzance Harbour was a lot bigger back in the day because uh, what is now the car park was all filled in back in the 1960s. So this used to be a very large harbour, but all this was filled in to make way for this, which is a bit of a shame. I would love to have seen it as a giant harbour. Would have been nice there, I reckon. But there it is, St Mary's Church, just up there. And then off in the distance, St Michael's Mount. Right, well, I'm gonna brave the storms and get down to Lidl's to buy some German produce. What better place to look for German food than Lidl? Welcome everyone to another episode of Brightside. Today, or rather this evening, we're in our homestead. We are. So I started this video yesterday, I was in town. You had a Costa coffee. I did. Um, I was at work, working hard, earning pennies for the homestead. You were? And what else? What else did I do? I took care of some business in town, blah blah blah, and I thought to myself... Heck it. Yeah, basically. We're going to have a German feast night, because it is. It is. Oktoberfest. Okay. There's no rhyme or reason. <laughs> to my knowledge, there is no German blood in us. I don't think so. A little bit of Norwegian blood in me, but obviously Norwegian, German, not linked really. So what are we making? What, what's in our feast? So we are going to have sauerkraut. <laughs> We're not just having sauerkraut. <laughs> just <We're>... sauerkraut. <laughs> we are having schnitzel. Um. And we're gonna, I mean, you know, we're gonna have a um, a bit of German sausage in there, aren't we? Who doesn't love a bit of German sausage? She really is trying to make me laugh. Why have I got my shades? You asked for them, so I adhered. Okay, right, so, uh, where are we to? I think that's it. So, let's go check it out. Here is our bratwurst, which we're probably not going to consume all of the uh, sausages because we have got the schnitzel. Our egg and then our um, dry ingredients to make the schnitzel. We have got some German cheese. We have got some sour cream. We've got some Bramley applesauce. <laughs> Sorry, that's about like take 10 because the kids are making so much noise in the front room. I have a German beer, a, how would you pronounce that? A Perlenbacher. I would say it's a pills. Well, yes, but <laughs> okay, all right. I couldn't find a Black Forest Gatto. I thought, well, Black Forest Gatto, that's gonna be, you know, fairly Germanic. I couldn't find that. So um, this was the closest thing I found. So probably, you know, strictly speaking, probably not a German dessert, but it'll still be delicious. What struck me as quite funny in, I wasn't, I wasn't struck by lightning or, you know, no. Uh, what struck me as funny when I went to Lidl yesterday, um, the, I say lack of German produce. I mean, there was obviously lots of, you know, I went in there to get like German <laughs> produce. But, well, that's right, because, you know, you, you end up with British soured cream. And, and Bramley apple. And Bramley apple, yeah. Well, actually, that came from Tesco's, I think. Okay. My mum my kindly donated that to the cause. But, um, uh, yeah, so, so yeah, I was, I was expecting some more sort of German products. We said about what we're making with the potatoes. No. What are we making with the potatoes? We're making, now, excuse my German. We're making kartoffel poofers. Oh, kartoffel poopers. Poofers. Poofers. <laughs> Not for poopers. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what are car 
Ch they're, what? They're car kartoffel pieces. Okay, what, what are they? They are a Germanic potato pancake. Okay, and you found that um, um It's online, on a website called The Spruce Eats, and I'll put a link to the recipe in the description. So okay. if anyone else wants to make kart kartoffel poofin, then you can. <laughs> Um, you might not want to after watching us, but oh, the recipe looks yeah. delicious. And that's going to be like a, a side dish to, with uh, our schnitzel, schnitzel our and uh, um, bratwurst. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, let's um, let's, let's crack on. Say why we're having a German feast. You just said because it was October. Ah, so so <laughs> kind of alluded to the fact that we are kind of in the middle of Oktoberfest. Well, we're not. We're in the middle of Penzance, but Oktoberfest isn't a town. <laughs> but. No, it's a it's an event, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we're not in the middle of an event. We're just at home, but we thought we would participate in the only way we know how, which is food. <laughs> exactly, and we do like our food, don't we? Um, I would like to go to like Germany one day for Oktoberfest. Should we make that an official deal on the bride side? Maybe. Okay. I can't imagine taking the kids though. I'd imagine that'd be a bit. Anyway, I have washed my hands. I've put my hair up. I've got my cooking apron on. I'm mm -hmm. ready to go. So that is our pound of... So I think it was russet potatoes was the exact ones. I don't know if these are russet potatoes, the ones we've got, but they're red potatoes anyway. So, yeah. I mean, russet are red potatoes, aren't they? Aren't they? Yeah. I think yeah. so. I think they are. To peel and then grate. All right. my grated potato. Lovely, you did a good job of grating by the way. Yeah, and then I'm going to squeeze the as life out of it. liquid as I can. Mm -hmm. So I'm using my cheesecloth, um, but it wants us to save the liquid Yeah. and then separate the starch and the water and then use the starch as part of the recipe. Oh, okay. So Those Germans, they're ingenious. If you haven't got a cheesecloth, any dishcloth would do, it's going to look clean. Look at all that gunk. So how do you separate the... You leave it sit, yeah. then the starch will fall to the bottom. Ah. And then you just pour the water off. Oh, okay. You've yes. come out to help? Yeah. You have? It's good, isn't it? What did you want to help? What did you want to help with? What? You're just pointing what? randomly at, 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 the cheese. Cheese. at the cheese. You want to help with the cheese. Smoked cheese. Ew. Mellow Smoked cheese. and smoky. Delicious. I must say, I, I am rather partial to this um, German smoked cheese. So, Mama Bear, tonight, do you think we should watch National Lampoon's European Vacation? Because a bit with Chevy Chase, you know, when they were in the German, in, in, in Germany. That is funny. It, it was very funny. I think we should maybe watch that. We have successfully, well, I say we, the royal we, because it was actually Shelley. Now, you were quite ingenious with taking the top layer off because you used a syringe, or used, used... You used a I syringe. Used <laughs> you used you a syringe. Off and leave just the starch behind. Yeah, so just one of our like medicine syringes for the kids. Yeah. And uh, that with no is that yeah. just no the starch. Yeah, so that's yeah. um okay, looking nice. Ish. Well no, it doesn't look nice at all, but yeah, you know what I mean. It looks like starch. Yeah. <laughs> you think she's taking a photo. Oh, you're on video. Cheese. You're on video. Cheese. Hey AJ, do you see the green light? Do you see the green light? Yeah. Right there. That's what you need to look at. Cheese. Are your eyes a bit stingy? <laughs> They're just streaming. <laughs> <laughs> so, onion into the grated okay. potato. And starch. Oh, has the starch gone back in? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. That's why you were doing that. Wasn't yeah, so that's not added later. That's, no, that's, that's added now. at this point. Okay, and so. I need to wash my hands again. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've added salt, pepper nutmeg and egg yep so i'm just giving it all a mix so we've got the onion the potato the starch but the excess water removed yep and then just gonna mix so it are these so like, a bit like a hash brown really. yeah are these like lumped together then and then fried on the pan yeah yeah because our schnitzels are fried on the pan as well so that's right we've got a couple of pans so we'll be able to have them on the go because what are these like maybe 10 minutes or something i don't yeah, know what they're cooked for they'll take very long. The, the, i suppose it depends how big you make them yeah, I suppose. And also, because the, the pork schnitzel things, um, they're going to be, like, made really thin in a minute with our hammer. 
Yeah. Thor's hammer. What was Thor's hammer called again? Molinier. Nice. Yes. Isn't it really hard? As hard as you can. And this one? And this one again? So Matilda, where did we go today? I can't remember, but I got my ears pierced. You did get your ears pierced today, didn't you? We went to Truro, because yeah. we were in Truro anyway. And we went to Claire's, didn't we? Claire's yeah, Accessories yeah, or whatever it's called. Yeah. And the girls did a wonderful job. Matilda's got some nine carat gold earrings. Yeah. So you meet in the flower. Like that. This is going to be good. And then in the egg. Might be a bit thick still for schnitzel, but it's too late now. It'll be fine. It'll cook. And then in the breadcrumbs. Now those breadcrumbs are just plain breadcrumbs. There's no flavor, you know, there's no um, seasoning in it, nothing like that, no spice. They are just plain, uh, which is what the recipe asked for. Just taking a little bit of time out from the kitchen because, you know, the baseball's on. Nice. Let's get cooking. Right, just waiting for the oil to heat up. Shelley isn't keen on beer. In fact, Shelley doesn't like beer at all. So we did, we, we found this in the cupboard, a nice Pinot Grigio there um, from Hungary. We haven't got any German wine, but you know, Hungary, I, th I think there's a land border. I think there's a border with um, Hungary, isn't it, Germany? I think they border each other. I think so. I might have to find that out. Um, so Shelley's gonna go with a little bit of wine and I am gonna go with some German beer. Perrenbacher pills. So we're gonna go for that. In fact, two cans because it's got to fill this. My German drinking stein. Now I have a question. Yeah? Does it not get a bit flat? Uh, well, you just gotta drink it quick. Too big a head on that. I'll let that settle. These are looking amazing. And so are these. I can't wait for this. <laughs> Cook my little brat verses. Cook. One hour later. I do believe that the Germans, I think they, I don't necessarily laugh, I don't think they laugh, but I think they comment upon the British pint glass, which is like 20 ounces. So, you know, they must laugh when it comes to their litre steins, because, so what's a litre? Like two, it must be, what, like two and a half pints or something like that? Because this is a huge amount of beer. And also, um, German, Germans must have incredibly strong arms because this thing is darn heavy. <laughs> I better get drinking. What do you think about the weight? Oh, you're actually drinking some. <laughs> what do you think about the weight of it? It's it, very it, heavy. it is very heavy, isn't it? That's really nice beer, actually. Oh, yeah. Got this very handy meat temperature guide and I know about the uh, you know I know that liquids are clear and this that and the other but I always like to double check so pork uh, so kind of like this area we're at about 100 let's, let's say 145 let's say 150 degrees Fahrenheit I don't know like 60 degrees C uh, let's say 150 let's let's go for that on our um, on our thermometer Yes, I think that is nice and cooked. 
Nice one. I'm loving your matching mitt and apron there. That's very cool. I am so hungry and I'm looking forward to this. So we have got our German cheese, our sour cream, applesauce, our schnitzel, our... Kartoffel pufer. Excellent. <laughs> our sauerkraut and our bratwurst. This looks amazing. Right, I'm gonna try the schnitzel first. Mm. Mm. Kartoffel puffins. Kartoffel puffins. Kartoffel puffers. Kartoffel puffers. I don't know why I can't remember that, but um, they look good. Like I say, actually, they are just like a, a hash brown, um, like casserole almost. I mean, like where they're all yeah. Mmm. I cannot believe. I must. I must be honest. I have never. I've. I've bought this glass new specifically for tonight. I've never drunken out of a liter Stein before. Probably the Germans are going to be laughing because I'm looking so inept. But um, this thing is so heavy. I can't believe how heavy it is. Oh. Mm. Sometimes I like to jazz up our hot dogs. Instead of having like the normal hot dog sausages, sometimes I nip down to Lidl and buy the um, the bratwurst and put in our hot dogs. They're really good with the mustard and onion and uh, ketchup and everything on. Highly recommend. Why are these sorts of cakes so hard to get out of the packaging? And then you ruin the cake and it all goes to like a mess. Oh. Is your eye itchy? Was it those onions earlier? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's not cooking well. <laughs> oh no. Well, I enjoyed making that video. That food was delicious. It was really delicious. How would you describe German cuisine? Like Hearty and meaty. Hearty, meaty, lots of potato. Beer, obviously. <laughs> delicious. <laughs> I enjoyed making that vlog. That is definitely true. We are going to leave the video there. I do hope you enjoyed it. We enjoyed making it. We enjoyed eating it. We enjoyed e eating the video. Eating the video or eating in the video? Eating the content of the video. You know what I mean. We I think so. It. Possibly. <laughs> do all the usual YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, smash the bell. We are on social media. Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at The Bright Side. So check us out there. So from us to you. Cheers. cheers and, and gone. I really should have got a pair of lederhosen for this video.